in this video we are going to discuss all about exponential growth formula with exponential decay problems okay so we have here the formula a is equal to p e raised to the power of r t we're in a is equal to population after it grows or future population p it is a present or current population e Euler's variable or and has an approximate value of 2.718 r rate or growth rate our t here is time period this is our exponential growth formula okay so here is our problem number one suppose that a population of a certain bacteria in a laboratory sample is 100 if it doubles in population every six hours what is the growth rate how many bacteria will there be in two days so we have here our two questions or two concern the first one is what is the growth rate the second one is how many bacteria will there be in two days the first thing to do here is simply we are going to find the known variables all all known variables so our known variables here we have okay let's copy first the formula a is equal to p a raised to the power of r t p is equal to from here this one suppose that the population of a certain bacteria in a laboratory sample is 100 here we got p from here p is equal to 100 what is p p is the present or current population okay so our our Euler's variable is 2.718 and our a here or the population after it grows is unknown then t here is equal to this to six hours another another okay if it doubles in population every six hours okay here t here is t1 or let's say t1 is equal to six hours we have here t2 is equal to two days two days or 48 hours our rate here is unknown rate is unknown that means to say it's con confusing right but it's still easy we will use or create a, a table for us to avoid difficulty so here is our table okay in column one as what you can see here we have the variables we have p e r a and we have here the second column is our time time is equal to six hours time is equal to two days or 48 hours the first the t1 and the t2 then under t1 is we have here 100 from the current population Euler's variable then unknown and a here is from this one we said earlier that we said earlier that if it doubles in population every six hours that means to say we create here the table under t1 or six hours we will double the population the given population here is 100 or the current population given here is 100 so we're going to make it double so th that will become 200 okay so this will be our second column the third column here is we have the current population is 100 then our o Euler's variable is again the same 2.718 then r here is still unknown then our a here is again unknown unknown sha. so for us to be able to solve 
this all, we will first use the constraints here in the second column. Let's say we have P is equal to 100, E is equal to 2.718, A is equal to 200, then T is equal to 6 hours here, and then R is unknown. Okay, so P is equal to 100 from here, E is equal to 2.718 from here, then A is equal to 200 from this one, then T is equal to 6 R's from the top one, and then R is our unknown. Then, for us to be able to get the value of R, we are going to apply A is equal to P E R T. Okay, so there it goes. Again, we will apply this formula. Okay, so here we go. A a is equal to P E R T. Our A, A is equal to 200 equals P is equal to 100. Our Euler's variable is 2.7118 or, or we will just put it E here and R is unknown so we will just write here r then our t is six r's six r's okay so i think i think we have now the equation so let's set let's set aside this one and get get the solution okay so is it clear okay so simplify we will first solve or simplify this one 100 and 200 the numerical coefficient so divide by 100 both sides when you are going to divide the number um like we should uh, let's divide 100 both sides automatically 100 Let's write it. Let's replace it here. Na lang. So 200 is equal to 100e e raised to the power of r6. Or you can write it here. 200 is equal to 100e e raised to the power of 6r. Okay. So divide both sides by 100. By 100. Then cancel out. Cancel out. So this will become 2 here and E6R. Okay. So at this point of time, we are going to use uh, the definition of natural logarithm or logarithmic, logarithmic operations. We have here natural logarithm 2 is equal to natural logarithm E raised to the power of 6R. Okay. By definition, we can write it this one 6r times ln e then ln 2 then at this point of time we can we can do it this way um, we will use the calculator to find the value of ln ln e ln e is equal to 1 okay so now since 6r times this one is the value of ln e is equal to 1 so substitute you were just going to substitute the value of ln e here then it will become 6r times 1 so you are just go we are just going to copy ln 2 okay so divide both sides by 6 by 6 by 6 so cancel out cancel out so the remaining item fr from the right side of our equation is r and we will use our calculator to find the value of ln 2 all over 6 okay 
the value of ln2 all over 6 is equal to 0 0.12 is equal to r 0 0.12 that means to say our rate is equal to 0 0.12 since we are talking rate this will be also equal to 12% here the value of r is equal to ln2 over 6 then we will use the calculator to solve this one then the result of ln2 all over 6 using the calculator is 0 0.12 and then since we are talking about rate then this will be also equal to 12%. That means to say our rate here is 12%. So, we can now go back to our table here. Then, we have used here 6 hours as our T. In the first place, we are using T as our... Uh, we, are, we have used 6 hours as our T. So, we will put the result the resulting rate here this one 12 percent here 12 percent 12 percent okay since we got already the rate then we can now solve the the future population in two days the we can now solve the future population in two days okay so solving it we will get the known variables okay, so let's use again the formula so we have here p uh, a is equal to p e r t our a here is a known okay as what you can see from the table we have here no a so p is equal to 100 from here a is equal to 2.718 it's Euler's variable then R is equal to 12% or that's equal to 0 0.12 then T is equal to 48 hours 48 hours okay so since we already have the variables here the constraints we are now going to plug in this all into our formula exponential growth formula so we have here a is a known this one p is 100 then e then R, what is R? 12% or 0 0.12. Then T is 48 hours. A is equal to 100 e raised to the power of, we are just going to multiply 0 0.12 times 48. So 0 0.12 times 48 is equal to 5.7. Six. So after this one, we are going to look for the value of e raised to the power power of five point seven six is equal to, or that is closer to. Okay, we can use the calculator to find the value of e raised to, to the power of five point seven six. Okay, the value of e raised to the power of five point seven six is equal to. 3, 1, 7, point three, four, eight, three. Okay, so let's just use these digits. To continue, we have A is equal to 1,000, 100, I'm sorry, 100 times the value of this one. A raised to the power of 5.76 is this one. So let's let us just substitute three seven three three one seven point three four eight three that's equal to 
Okay, use the calculator to solve this. We have 31,735. 31, okay. So, supposing that this is now our future, our future population or the population after it grows. Let's finalize our answer. Therefore, the population of the bacteria bacteria in two days in two days will be 31,735 I think we are, we are all done with our solution and I hope you have learned something from our video today thank you for listening and watching